I'm Marion Wright, <clears throat> and I was in D.C. during 9-11. Wow. So I'm, I'm telling you about my experiences there on that day. Yeah. Um, um, I was visiting my mother, who was ill. My mother's nurse woke me up and told me the towers had been hit. We watched uh, TV all morning. And then I went out on the street, and the atmosphere of the city was, was changed. The streets were clogged with traffic, all going in the same direction. They were leaving town, mm -hmm. and the buses were packed. And, I mean, people were standing up and holding on to the, uh, what do you call those things? Mm -hmm. the hangers. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the. The uh, businessmen and women wearing their suits and carrying their briefcases were coming out, uh, uh, were walking home from work because the, the streets were clogged and so that was their only choice, mm -hmm. to walk home, mm -hmm. and, uh, carrying their briefcases. Grandmothers were walking their children's home from, children home from school, uh, that, but the city was quiet. Uh, people weren't talking much, and, and uh, they were awfully scared and tense looking, and, and people kept looking up in the sky oh. to see uh, if there was anything happening. And, um, uh, the, and the police, the police were everywhere, and I remember seeing them in, uh, on their motorcycles, and there would be groups of them. Uh, gathered on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden they would jump in their motorcycles, uh, jump on their motorcycles, and ride away with their sirens screaming. And mm -hmm. people would be saying, "Well, I wonder what that was all about. Right. You know, what what's happened?" So uh, it was a um, very strange day, mm -hmm. uh, and. Um, the atmosphere of the of the city was a fear, mm -hmm. um, almost as if the city was was cowering and saying, "Don't hit me again." Mm -hmm. you know, and then we heard uh, that there was another plane that had been involved that had crashed, mm -hmm. um, and the grocery stores were were crowded. People were were not weren't sure if the city was going to close down completely and they wouldn't be able to leave their houses. Gotcha. So there were, there were people in the grocery stores and the, the grocery stores managers were saying, I've never seen so many people in here. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and later, a couple of days later, my brother and I decided that our mother had had enough. You know? So we drove her out to Virginia and we had to go past the Pentagon. Well, they wouldn't let us go anywhere near the Pentagon, so mm -hmm. we had to go around it. We took her out to uh, Mount Vernon, which is outside the city, mm -hmm. and uh, it was really nice and peaceful out there. Mm -hmm. Not too many people out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, then when we got back, we, we refused to let her turn on the TV. He said, we've, we've had enough of that mm -hmm. now, and we're just going to turn off the TV and we're going to talk. Mm -hmm. And so then, about 10 years later, um, my brother and I went to the Pentagon Memorial, mm -hmm. which is really very nice, and it's on the side of the Pentagon where the, where the plane hit. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can hardly tell that there ever been any uh, problem with the front of the building because they've made the stone about the same uh, color as the, as the rest of the building. Mm -hmm. So except for the, this memorial, you wouldn't know there was any, uh, um, there hadn't been anything that happened. Right. But they're very, very security conscious at the Pentagon, and so you have to take a different route to go in, and mm -hmm. the place is very carefully guarded. Mm -hmm. You can't go in the building. And so that was my experience with 9-11 with mm -hmm. and being in D.C. Definitely. Um, did you learn anything specific from your experience? 
Well, I learned that, that uh, uh, well, let's see, Washington has never been bombed. Mm -hmm. There's ne that had never happened before. And I learned uh, how vulnerable the city really is. Mm -hmm. um, it's, on a, uh, it's on a river. I mean, you could do anything from, with a boat. Right. You know, and um, also learned how intense security can be. Mm -hmm. Because I grew up in D.C. and uh, my father had a job at the Pentagon at one time and, and he used to take us there sometimes to right. his office. And, you know, never thought anything about it. Right. There was a little lady sitting at the desk there and you go in the Pentagon and check in and you know, and, okay. Security wasn't that tight. Security then. wasn't tight at all. Right. Wow, that's amazing. It's interesting. Yeah. So. Um, did your experience change you in any way? Well, it taught me that, that anywhere you go, there can be a problem like that. Right. And that, um, oh, uh, experiences like that can, can happen anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can be in an office building and someone can come in and blow it up. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, or whatever. Yeah, thank you so much. Do you have any uh, closing remarks, anything else that you'd like to say? No, I just hope we never have anything like that again, but Definitely. I suppose it, it could happen. It's possible, yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. That was amazing. Let's go ahead and turn this off.